more I read about these kill buyers, the more worried I get about Frank's horses. The last thing I want to see is these horses gone to slaughter. He's looking at us to do a 50-year commitment of our farm and ranch to take care of these horses. 50 years is a really long time. They've done so much for me. You guys don't even understand how much they've helped me. But look what I found on Frank the other day. I didn't know that Frank's been fighting his whole life to save this horse breed. Oh, they're a real people partner. You cannot imagine how much these horses have done for Lacey. I wish we could do this for so many more people. Touch it. Doing really good. It's OK. You did so good. Gina's Michael's friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. <laughs> it's her gloves. She forgot her gloves. I'm going to okay. go get them. OK. It's OK, Lacey. And Mom's going to get your gloves. Mm -hmm. It's OK. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. OK. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a choice with Lacey, but what made you choose this path? <laughs> I'm just worried about my horses, Paul. They almost were extinct at one time, and I just ain't gonna let that happen again. My entire childhood, I've watched you borrow money and take care of these horses. It's time to take care of yourself now. When's the last time you were at the doctor? Mr. Kunz, the doctor will see you now to go over your lab results. The horses will be taken care of. We'll make sure of that. Please tell me what the doctor said. What's going to happen to his herd? Where are they going to live? I don't know what's going to happen to his herd. <laughs>